Welcome back YouTube family. Today's video is going to be about 10 more ways in order to improve your mindset and your way of thinking, which ultimately improves your life. Number one is do what brings you the most joy, whatever that may be. It could be traveling, music, working out, whatever brings you joy, put your energy into that. That's going to make your life happy and it's just going to change your mood, change your attitude, change your perspective in life. The more joy you have, the more things that bring you joy, the better attitude you have, the better mindset that you have, the more you feel like you can actually accomplish your goals. Number two is never let someone else's limitations of your dreams stop you from pursuing your dreams. Everyone has dreams, they have goals, but don't let someone else's fear or doubt keep you from pursuing your dreams and pursuing your passions in life. Love those who hurt you at a distance. So that pretty much means that if someone did hurt you in your life, you have to heal from that past hurt and trauma because you have to emotionally let yourself cry and get those emotions and that pain and that hurt and that grief out. You don't want to internalize that. You want to let it go. And you don't have to just, you don't have to tell them, you know, if it was to the point where it hurt you that severely in your life, then just let them go and just be cordial or just distance yourself from that person if you see that they continue to hurt you and their actions don't change towards you. Number four, sometimes your circle may change, but that change may be good for you. So sometimes in life, your friends, your family, and especially your friends, your friends may be there for a lifetime. They may be there for 10 plus years. They may only be there temporarily for a year. God knows when someone is supposed to be in your life and how long they should be in your life and their purpose for your life. Sometimes that per person's purpose is to get you to the next level to your life. That person's purpose may be to give you information about something that you're working on in your life. It could be several reasons why someone comes into your life, but it doesn't mean that they can't leave your life. Number five, surround yourself with people that you can gain knowledge from so you can grow. Whether that's your business, your finances, your life, your Anything that you're trying to achieve, you need to surround yourself with people that can give you that knowledge and give you that insight in order to help you grow and obtain what they already have. Number six is everyone makes mistakes in life. So just acknowledge whatever mistake you made, learn from it, you know, try not to make the same mistake again. We're all human. You know, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to fail. But the thing about failure is you're going to learn what not to do the next time. Number seven is read daily. It could be motivational books, business growth books, just anything that stimulates your mind. You want to do that every day. Try to read, even if it's an article on your phone, an ebook, or even if you listen to an audible book, just listen to um, books and just gain knowledge and continue to feed into your knowledge every day. Number eight is help others more without expecting anything in return. The more you give in this world, the more you're going to receive. Just always come from a place of giving because whatever you give to someone else, the Lord is going to provide even more back into your life. Number nine is to strive for greatness. We all can improve in our life. We all can, you know, want better for our life, better for ourselves, better for our family. Just strive for greatness, whatever that may be, whatever you're lacking in, just try to improve in those areas. Number 10 is if you are very spiritual, just growing your faith and your spiritual life, whatever religion or whatever, um, practice that you are, if you do believe, if you don't believe, just, you know, grow in that area, get closer to whoever you believe in, and 
that's going to also strengthen strengthen your mind, strengthen your beliefs, strengthen. It's just going to bring so much clarity. It brings peace. And that's what we all need right now. So I know it's only supposed to be 10 things, but I actually added a couple more. So number 11 is self-reflection, which allows you to grow from a disagreement. If you have a disagreement with someone else in your life, whether it's a friend, a colleague, a family member, just try to self-reflect and realize what you could have done differently in the situation, in the argument. Just try to improve yourself and think about how you also played a role in whatever happened. Number 12 is take accountability when you hurt someone. Sometimes people express to us that we hurt their feelings or we said something that hurt them or did something that hurt them and we weren't even aware of it. So even if you didn't know that you hurt that person, just apologize and sincerely and just acknowledge it and take accountability for not realizing that you hurt them. But just try your best to to love the ones that love you. So number 13 is always respect others and their choices. Everyone's going to make choices in life. Your friends, your family members, you know, everyone's going to make different choices and different situations and different life scenarios. Just accept those choices. You may try to give them advice or just try to give them different examples of what you may have done that worked. But Ultimately, they're going to make their own choices. They're going to make their own life, their own path. So just allow them to do that. Number 14 is listen to your family and friends when they express their thoughts with you. So in this, this time and age of what's going on in the world right now in this pandemic, um, listen to your family and friends. You know, be there for them. Be supportive. Even if they just need someone to listen to them, just listen to their thoughts it's a lot of things going on and you just want to be there for them and want them to know that they can come to you and that they're not alone no one's alone in this world and don't be afraid to ask for help and to express to them that you need extra encouragement from them and extra love and support from them don't be afraid to lean on your family and friends that's what they're there for all right this concludes my video thank you for watching please subscribe like and comment and also share with your family and friends. Thank you.